Hello everyone! Today we are going to be having a beach party and I'm going to be showing you a beach party makeup look, how to make summer rice crispy treats which are awesome and super cute, and I'm also going to show you how to transform your space into a beach cabana. So let's get into this, shall we? We shall! I'm gonna start off my beach party makeup look with a refreshing spritz of the Aven Thermal Spring Water. And this stuff is awesome because it softens and purifies your skin, and it also soothes inflammation, itching, redness, and it's not gonna dry out your skin. So I just spray this on and let it dry completely before I come in with my Benefit the Professional Primer. This is one of my favorites. It really reduces the look of your pores and really helps control oil throughout the day. So I just dump Got this on and blend it in. Next, I'm bringing in my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard, and I use this to cover any blemishes or discoloration. I just find that it looks super natural and covers really well. To get rid of those dark circles, I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk Liquid Light Concealer, and this stuff really does bring more light to your eye area while concealing dark circles at the same time. It's creamy, easy to blend, and I just really like it. It wouldn't be an Ingrid tutorial without the NARS eyeshadow primer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my eyelids to prevent creasing and control oiliness throughout the day. To set everything, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation, which is always a mouthful to say. But this stuff is great. It provides wonderful coverage and makes your skin look flawless all day. Let's give those eyebrows some love. I am using the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade Medium Brown and yup, you guessed it, filling in those brows. Pretty self-explanatory. And since brows like to be a little crazy sometimes, I am going to be using the Milani Clear Brow Gel to keep everything in place. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Pacifica Mineral Eyeshadow Duo in Moonbeam and Unicorn, and this is a coconut-infused eyeshadow that's super smooth and has gorgeous color payoff. I'm going to be using the light color on the right side and mixing that with the Tarte Blush in Captivating. Mixing these two colors together creates a shimmery, peachy gold color that's perfect for a summer beach party. So I'm gonna sweep that over both of my lids, and then I'm just gonna come in with the blush color only on a fluffy crease brush and blend that into my crease. And this adds a really pretty pop of that peach color without being overly harsh. Then I'm gonna go back to the first eyeshadow and use that as an inner corner highlight. To tightline, I'm using the Stila Eyeliner in Spice, which is a dark brown color, and I'm just applying this to the upper inner rims. Now I'm coming in and curling my eyelashes, and I'm going to follow up with the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. This is definitely my new favorite because it's super waterproof, great for summer, and makes your lashes look freaking awesome. After applying mascara to my bottom lashes, I'm gonna come in with a captivating blush and actually use it as a blush on my cheeks. I'm using the bronzer in the Lorac Pro To Go palette and just applying that to the edges of my face and then down onto my neck as well. And on my lips, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Butter Lipstick in Coral Blossom, which is a gorgeous color for summertime, and these are super moisturizing as well. For my hair, I'm going to be using the Eva New York City Therapy Session Hair Mask. You can use this as a traditional hair mask, but today I'm using it kind of like a styling cream. This helps condition, repair, and strengthen your hair. It makes it soft and manageable and adds texture to these beachy waves that I have. I'm gonna have a link down below to ipsy.com where you can find this product and some of the other ones used in this video if you're interested. On my body, I'm going to be using the Hang 10 Dark Classic Sport SPF 50 Sunscreen. Screen. And I'm using this just in case you want to go outside for your beach party. It protects and nourishes your skin, is water resistant, and naturally scented. Okay, this is one of my new obsessions. It is the Lulu Blossom Dreamsicle Body Balm. It's super rich and creamy, but not greasy, and it's super moisturizing. So I warm this up in my hands and then apply it to my cuticles. And this actually helps make your nail polish last longer. As random as it sounds, it's true. And then I just like to take the excess and rub it into my elbows. So that is it for my beach party hair and makeup. And now if you are anything like me, then you are totally that girl at the party that is standing by the food. So let's get in the kitchen and make some treats. 
Now, I hope you guys are hungry because we are gonna be making some really cute and really tasty treats for our beach party. And we're gonna be making Rice Krispie treats. Now, these are not just any Rice Krispie treats because they're actually gonna look like watermelon slices. Now, for this recipe, you're gonna need some brown rice krispies, and I personally prefer the brown rice ones, but you can also use regular ones. And instead of the marshmallow fluff, for a binding agent, we're gonna be using honey and peanut butter. And then to create that watermelon color, we're using red and green food coloring, so kind of like Christmas, but not really. And then I also have some dark chocolate covered pomegranate seeds, which are going to be the seeds for the watermelon, and I have to resist myself from eating them as snacks. And then I also have some coconut oil spray, because this recipe can get a little bit sticky, and it's just nice to have something that will prevent every from sticking together and creating one giant glob of mess. Start off by prepping a nine inch round pan and spraying it with a little bit of the coconut spray just so your treats don't stick because the last thing you want is to go through all of this and then you can't get your treats out of the pan. It's also a good idea to spray down your spoon or spatula so when you're mixing everything together you're not left with crazy sticky clumps on your spoon. Once everything is prepped, you're gonna take two cups of the Rice Krispies and pour them into a large bowl. Time to make things sweet with a fourth of a cup of honey. So go ahead and add that in. Next comes two heaping spoonfuls of peanut butter or about a fourth of a cup if you wanna measure it out. Add a few drops of green food coloring and mix it all together. Keep mixing until the food coloring is pretty well incorporated, but don't worry about covering every single crispy. You just want the mixture to be mostly green. Scoop your mixture out of the bowl and place it around the edges of the pan. Now it's time to get those hands dirty. Or should I say greasy? Just spray a little bit of the coconut oil onto your hands to prevent the crispies from sticking. Use your hands to mold the crispies around the edge of the pan to create a watermelon rind. Set that aside and get ready to do the same thing all over again except with the red food coloring. Start off with a clean bowl and this time around you may need a little bit more than two cups of the Rice Krispies but not much. A fourth of a cup of honey and the two scoops of peanut butter. Add a few drops of the red food coloring, mix it all together, spray your hands again, and plop the mixture right into the center of the pan. Then you just wanna make sure that you press down so everything is nice and even. Take these little guys and randomly place them in the red center. So these are basically like the watermelon seeds, only the way yummier version. And don't forget to press down a little bit so they set nicely in the crispies. Then you just wanna stick this in the fridge for at least an hour so everything can set, but for best results, make this ahead of time and let it sit in the fridge overnight. Once everything is chilled, take it out of the fridge and you'll see that you're left with a super cute little watermelon. So now all you have to do is slice it up, serve it on a plate, and get ready to take a bite out of the cutest slice of heaven ever. Now I hope you guys are ready to decorate because I'm going to show you how to make a fun and colorful DIY summer wreath. To make this wreath, you will need a styrofoam ring, the bigger the better in my opinion, and some cocktail umbrellas. Now don't be afraid to get a whole bunch of these because you're gonna need a lot. With this wreath, you're gonna want to start at the center with your umbrellas and then work your way out. So you just wanna fill up the entire ring with a ton of umbrellas. Now, if you're working with these larger ones, you may need to trim them because this stick is pretty long. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab some utility scissors like this, not regular scissors, cause you're gonna wreck them if you use those. And you're gonna wanna come in and cut off the end. And careful, cause the end tends to go flying. And then you can just stick it in like that and you won't have the stick coming out on the other side. Another thing you can do is you can use smaller cocktail umbrellas if you want to add a little bit of depth, another texture. This just makes it a little bit more interesting to look at and I think next to the really big umbrellas, it looks awesome. So you just have a nice mix going on. And with these, you don't have to trim the ends. So that's another plus. And when you're finished placing your umbrellas, you're gonna be left with a decor piece that's so cute, you're gonna wanna keep it up even after your party is over. 
You can also hang this against a window and it looks so pretty with light coming through it since the paper on the umbrellas is really thin. It just creates a really colorful, pretty glow. To transform my dining room from a regular old dining room into the fabulous beach cabana that you see behind me, I started off with a blue tablecloth. And I went with blue just because it's my favorite color and it's a beach party. So it kind of symbolizes the ocean. I think it really just brings the room together. It adds a pop of color without being too overwhelming. To spice it all up, I got some really cool things for the tabletop. So I have some shells and some starfish, which I also got from Amazon. And I was really surprised because when they got shipped to me, nothing was broken at all. I will say though that since the starfish are real, they're a little stinky because they smell like the ocean. But hey, it makes it more authentic, right? Right, that's what I'm going for. I also added some sparkle to the table with some beachy confetti that I found at Party City, and then also some buckets. They're just little sand pails, and I went to the beach, filled it up with sand, and then also plopped in some seashells there just to create a really cool beachy scene. And then of course I have the fabulous palm tree, which I am obsessed with. I think this is super cute on the table. It's not gonna annoy your guests, but it still brings in that beachy vibe. And it's shiny, which is the next best thing to glitter, in my book at least. I also made the umbrella wreath, which was super easy to do. I think it's a great way to add color to your space. And when I hung it up on the wall, I was like, I kind of want to leave it here even if I'm not having a beach party because I think it just looks awesome. And we can't forget about our watermelon rice crispy treats that we made because they look super cute and I just put them on a little platter with some real fruit. So we have our pretend fruit and the real fruit. And for finishing touches, we have beach balls and balloons. I just got a ton, again, off of Amazon. If you're planning to throw a party, I always go to Amazon because that is like my jam. And then the balloons, well, balloons are just awesome. And I think it all looks really cool. It just looks like a little beach party and I wish you all could be here to go and party with me because I'm just by myself. That is gonna be it for today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to send me photos if you throw your own beach party because I wanna see them. So you can send me photos on Twitter or Instagram and if you make those Rice Krispie treats, Oh my gosh, you have to send me photos because they are amazing and so cute. They're totally Instagram worthy, right? Right. And be sure to check out my last video, which will be linked right here for you guys if you wanna go and watch it. It is a lazy summer day routine because there's just nothing better than a lazy summer day. And also, if you want some more party food ideas, I will have a video linked here with some ideas that are awesome for party food. They're very shareable and they work for any kind of party that you're having, not just a beach party. Oh yeah, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for even more recipes, tutorials, and lots of fun stuff because I have some pretty amazing things coming for you guys this summer and beyond. So I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome day. I love you and goodbye.